Good morning, guys, on this Tuesday. Hey, still dealing with some suffixes here. A kind reminder that don't get confused. Don't confuse prefixes with suffixes. They are short little parts of the word that, that get added to the root word that change the meaning. But prefixes are last week. Remember that those come before the word. And suffixes come after the word so we're dealing with suffixes there's lots of them but again we're dealing with f-u-l e-r and l-y and you can see they each have the certain meanings but the biggest thing to remember is that suffixes come after the root word kind of the opposite of last week now when you hear the suffix er that means a person who does what you say here's what i mean well, a baker is a person who bakes, right? A teacher is a person who teaches. They just you just say the 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 name and then you add er. Farmer, someone who farms. An eater, someone who eats. A, a player, someone who plays. You know what I'm saying? That's all er means is a person who does whatever the root word is. In this case, bake, farm, and teach. You had er, it's the person who baker, bakes, the person who farms, the person who teaches. Right? Same with this. A singer is, well, a person who sings. A player, hey, they stole mine. Ah, that's okay. A, a person who plays, right? Um, that That's all er means. Uh, you, you think about the kitchen, too. That's what they do. What is a blender? Something that blends. What's a refrigerator? Something that refrigerates. What is a freezer? Something that freezes, right? That's all er means. In that case, obviously not people, but a thing that does what you say. What does a toaster do? Well, it's a thing that toasts, right? <laughs> now, the suffix ly means how something is done, right? Slowly. This is dealing a lot with the adjectives and adverbs, right? How did you do that after the verb? Right, the dog ate, ate how? Slowly. The girl ran, ran how? Quickly. The girl ran quickly. The singer sang loudly. The singer sang how? Loudly, right? This deals right with our adjectives unit, um, but that's what ly means. That's why you ask yourself that after the verb for adverbs. Now, full is a suffix, and here's again where you gotta be uh, careful because this is how you spell full like the glass, I'd like it full, please. But the suffix full, said the same way, is only one L when it's added to the end of a word. So please be careful of that, okay? Now, if you're hopeful, that simply means you are full of hope, right? If you're prideful, that simply means you're full of pride, right? That, that The full means you're full of something. Um, you know, uh, different words like uh, we have here, careful, you're full of care, useful, it's full of use, so on and so forth. So this assignment, I think, helps you out uh, getting to understand the difference between the suffixes. If you can't remember this video, we also have this right here that helps you remember. Uh, now, L-Y in a way that is, again, you can also say how something is. But again, you can see that these have different puzzle pieces. And you guys know if you stick this ER in here and you say use er, that doesn't work. You can't put this triangle piece in with this half circle piece. You know that's not, that doesn't work and you know that's not a spelling word. So you, you, you're basically matching up the, the suffix puzzle pieces with the correct root word. I think you can probably figure out that number one is use full. And it just getting you used to understanding that you attach it to the end of the base word and then you spell it correctly useful and number one teach not teach full teach lead now you can tell the puzzle piece that work teacher right again training yourself that a suffix comes at the end of the root word and then you spell teach er one who teaches right now here again you got sentences you you have this underlying phrase here and you got to boot that out and, and put the correct spelling word that makes sense matt asks the person who teaches for help in math Perfectly fine sentence, but they want you to use a spelling word. And what do you think it would be? A person who teaches would be Matt asks the teacher for help in math. Boom. There you go. So that's a number seven you'd put teacher. 
And that's your assignment, guys. The Lord's blessings to you as you praise your Savior.